So I'm out here in the Gatsu garage and no, the car isn't here, but uh, something a little bit different today. I got an RV and uh, we're gonna start kind of a, a cool little adventure. Um, pulled it in a couple days ago and clean and clear title. I got it for like one third the MSRP and we're actually gonna live in it for a little bit and I'm gonna bring my subscribers along with us for the journey basically just us living out of an RV um, and still following our passions and also working at the same time it is a little bit of a different lifestyle for sure um, it's not for everyone but me and Ashley both have always really liked the the minimalist kind of lifestyle when it came to like where we live and what we really need uh, there isn't a ton and right now uh, with the way rent is and everything else you figure why not put that money that you'd be paying for rent into something that you can keep so that's when i went and got this uh, so what kind of model mine is is mine is a dutchman aerolite this is the zero gravity series i don't know exactly what that means honestly um, it just means it has a couple extra things uh, i'll kind of walk around and show you guys so the total rig is a 34 footer. It is the 298 RESL. So it's 20, whenever you hear the numbers on an RV, uh, like 29, eight, uh, 298, that would mean it's 29 foot, like 29.8 feet. So 29 foot, eight inches. This one is a aluminum frame. So, instead of just being wood it's gonna aluminum just helps a little bit with the strength it's also light and resistant it's completely everything is concealed under this one so your water tanks and everything else there goes ashley say hi ashley oh lord <laughs> we're gonna have to get the key um but everything is sealed up under there so all your tanks being under it what that means is that it stays a lot better temperature during the winter time. This rig has the electric self-leveling and so we can raise and lower the jacks just by the press of a button. That's definitely nice. I can tell you that's nice because the hitch is not and cranking on this guy, uh, one is enough for me. <laughs> one is enough for me. I'm actually planning on upgrading the hitch itself. That's another one of the things that I'm gonna bring along is uh, just me doing different upgrades and work on the RV. Some people work on their own RV. Uh, I like to work on things myself so that I get a good idea of it. Some people pay somebody to do it. I probably do a little bit of both, um, but I'm gonna talk a little bit more about features in just a little bit. So it's the next day, a little sunnier outside. The inside is really, really what got me. Um, it is the recliners kind of have a living room feel recliners right across from the couch and a tv right in the center and when you turn around you get your kitchen pretty good size fridge in it and i love the l shape of everything the stainless steel is really what i love bathroom still pretty cool but I think I'm gonna be doing some changes to it for sure. In the bedroom, the king size mattress so that I still have room even when <laughs> she tries to push me off the bed and everything. But this is pretty much the inside of the RV. Everything seemed to be pretty good condition. The seals were good when I was looking at it. It didn't have, you know, really any water damage. But I'm going to continue to make videos on this and on the car. As 